and then stand on the other side of it until I until I knock for you. Okay. Just lock. No, you can't grab that. Lock the door. Sit on the door. School shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing great. I feel so awesome about the music. The album is coming out February 11th. I'm doing the fashion show February 11th at Madison Square Garden. We're dropping the album that February 12th that morning. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you so, so much. Thank you. Yeah, it feels like good. It feels like real, <clears throat> I don't know, just yay, Apple, Steve Jobs type music, you know, like, yeah. Like, so my next single, I wanted you to tweet it. It's the, it's a Good Friday, we're dropping as a Good Friday song. So that's why I'm calling you, that I wanted you to put the song out. Well, the, like it, well, the reason the reason why it, it will be happy is because it has a very controversial line at the beginning of the song about you. What does it say? Okay, so it says, and the song is so so dope, and I've, I've literally sat with my wife, with my whole management team, with everything, and tried to rework this line re i've thought about this line for eight months i've had this line and i tried to rework it every which way and the, the the original way that i thought about it is the best way but it's the most controversial way so it's 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 gonna go eminem a little bit so can you brace yourself for a second yeah okay all right <laughs> uh it says wait a second you sound sad well is it gonna be mean no i don't think it's mean Okay, then, then let me hear it. Okay. It says, um, and the funny thing is, when I first played it and my wife uh, heard it, she was like, huh? What? That's too crazy, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, when Ninja from um, uh, D. Atwood heard it, he was like, oh my God, this is the craziest shit. This is why I love Kanye, blah, 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 that kind of thing. And now it's like my wife's favorite fucking line. I just want to give you some premise of that, right? Okay. Okay. So it says, To all my South Side niggas that know me best, I feel like Taylor Swift might owe me sex. <laughs> <laughs> That's not me. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, this is the thing why I'm calling you because you got an army. You own a country of motherfucking two billion people, basically, that... If you felt that it's funny and cool and like hip hop and felt like, you know, just the college dropout and the artists like yay that you love, then I think that people would be like way into it. And that's why I think it's super genius to to have you be the one that says, oh, I like this song a lot. Like, yeah, whatever, you know, this is cool, whatever. It's like, you know, like I got like shit on my album where I'm like, I bet me and Ray J will be friends. If we ain't love the same bitch. Oh <laughs> like, like, I mean, I yeah. need to think about it because I just need to, like, you know, you hear something for the first time and you just need to think about it. Yeah. Um, because it is absolutely crazy. I'm glad it's not mean, though. It doesn't mm. feel mean. Mm. Um, but, like, oh my god, the build up you gave it, I thought it was gonna be like that stupid, dumb bitch. Like, but it's not. Mm. Um, so, I don't know, I mean, the launch thing, I think, I think it would be kind of confusing to people, but I definitely, like, I definitely think that when I'm asked about it, of course, I'd be like, yeah, I'm the biggest fan, I love that, I think it's hilarious, but, um, yeah, I yeah. think about it. Yeah, you don't have to do, you don't have to do the launch or any tweet, that was just an extra idea I had, like, but, not you don't, 
if you think that that's cool, then it's cool. If not, I mean, we are launching the shit like on um, just Good Fridays on SoundCloud on the site, shit like that. But I, um, um, you know, the thing about me is like um, anything that I do becomes like a feminist thing piece, and if I launch it, they're gonna be like, wow, like this thing, like they'll just turn it into something that. I think if I launch it, it's honestly, like, I think it'll be less cool. Because like, I think if I launch it, it, it adds this le level of criticism. Because having that many followers and having that many eyeballs on me right now, like, people are just looking for me to do something dumb or stupid or lame. And it's, like, almost... I don't know. Like, I kind of feel like people would try to make it negative if it came from me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I try to be super self-aware about where I am, and I feel like, I feel like right now I'm like this close to overexposure. Oh well, this this one is uh, I think this is a really cool thing to have. Uh, I know, definitely. It's like a compliment. Yeah. Kind of. yeah. <laughs> I I had this line where I said, and my wife really didn't like this one because we tried to make it nicer. So I said, it's for all my South Side niggas that know me best. I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex and my wife was really not with that one she was way more into the she owes you sex but then the o's I, the o part was like a feminist group type shit that i was like ah that's the part yeah that's kind of, i mean they're both really edgy but the, like that's the only thing about that line is that it's like gonna it's just the feminists are gonna come out but i mean you don't give a fuck so yeah like, basically well, what I give a fuck about is just you as a person and as a friend. I want things that make you feel good. I don't want to do rap that makes people feel bad. Like, of course, like, I'm mad at Nike and that. And so people think, like, oh, he's a bully. He ran on stage with Taylor. He's bullying Nike now, this $50 billion company. I'm just... Why are people saying you're bullying Nike? Because I, cause on facts, like I said, like, uh, Yeezy, they line up for days. Nike, I have bad. They can't get shit away. They, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That no, is. That's, I mean, that's just what you do, though. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I wouldn't say that it's like possible to bully a company like Nike, but yeah. I mean, um, yeah. I mean, what, go with whatever line you think is better. It's obviously very tongue in cheek either way. Yeah. And I really appreciate you telling me about it. That's really nice. Oh, yeah, I thought I just had a responsibility to you as a friend, you know, and uh, I mean, thanks for being like so cool about it. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really appreciate it. Like, the heads up is so nice. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's, you'd be surprised how many people just do things without, like, even asking or seeing if I'd be okay with it, and I just really appreciate it. Like, I never would have expected you to, like, tell me about my line and when you're Songs, but that's really nice that you did. Oh, you mean like unexpected shit? Like you take the time to give someone a really, really valuable award and then they completely run for president right afterwards? Like unexpected <laughs> in that type of way? We have not <laughs> talked about that. What, what happened? <laughs> I just thought that was wavy. I was, it was, it, it was vibey. Actually, you know, funny thing, as I thought about <laughs> the we and the president. Both of those things I thought about in the shower the day before. I just started laughing like crazy. And I was like, I gotta say that I had just smoked some weed and then say I'm gonna run for president. Like, it's gonna be. So, those are my basis of. I knew I wanted to say the thing about going to like the Dodgers game with, you know, my daughter and like getting booed and that being scary. And I knew I wanted to say like me changing and thinking about people more since I had a daughter. And then I wanted to say the weed thing, and then I wanted to say um, the president thing, and everything else was just like off the cuff. Yeah. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. It was it was definitely like it stole the show.